Now it's a prime time sports Friday. Kicking off with football, reggae boys head coach Theodore Tapa Whitmore could have a selection dilemma on his hands ahead of the CONCACAF Gold Cup and World Cup qualifying campaigns following good performances from some UK-based players on a Thursday in the friendly international against the USA. The players expressed delight at being given the opportunity. With several familiar faces going a wall ahead of the friendly against the United States, the platform was a perfect one for eight UK-based players to audition for a place on the band of the reggae boys. Six were given a starting role with a few striking the right chord. A goal scorer will never be overlooked and that's the company Jamal Lowe has found himself among. The scorer of Jamaica's alone goal says it was something straight from the training ground. I was buzzing, to be fair. I was buzzing. I was buzzing just to start, to be honest. I was happy to put in the starting 11. But the goal is obviously something we've, we've worked on, trying to hit teams on the, on the counter-attack. And um, we've literally just done it to the tee. But while Law has found a hit, skipper Adrian Mariapa says it was a tough ask for some of the players against an organised US group. For new players getting put together, only a couple of days training, obviously, and you're playing against a very tough side. It was, it was a tough ask anyway, you know. Defender Ethan Pinnock was over the moon on his first showcase and described it as a great taste. It's a great feeling, very honoured and was humbling, you know, to hear the national anthem before the game. And, you know, I think a lot of the new players felt the same. So we're, we're all looking forward to getting back together and, you know, getting some more sessions in and becoming more used to how each other play and... Obviously, for the Gold Cup and the World Cup qualifiers, I think it's something we want to be a part of. But there's one thing that is synonymous with all three players. We haven't gelled that well yet, but obviously we've only had two days of training and one game, so that will come. But a lot of positives to show already, like the type of football that we played, chances we created, and I think in time, it'll all come together and be a success. Um, you know, going into the future now, just, you know, looking to build on those positives and look where we can improve. Considering the circumstances, there are a lot, uh, a lot of new faces in the squad. Um, we haven't had much time to train and play together. I thought there were definitely some encouraging signs. Uh, obviously, there's, there's things we need to work on as well. But as a starting point, I thought it was a decent show. So having been given the chance on the big stage, it is now left to see who has hit the right note as the reggae boys get ready to strike up the band ahead of the Gold Cup and World Cup qualifiers. Karen Madden, TVJ Sports.